Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell from the title that I've officially got the Radio Master Boxer and I have the 4-in-1 version with me. Now I'll be using this to basically fly my FPV drones. Now this radio comes with the HTX software and you can get this radio with three different internal modules. I have the 4-in-1 multi protocol module. You can also get this with the internal Express LRS module as well or a CC2500. So let's remove the wrapper from the box. And inside this box, we get this carry case and we have Radio Master written on it. The fabric of this box is very top notch. It feels quite premium. And we also get this grab handle, which is a nice touch. Other than that, we get a sticker sheet. So you get some Radio Master, HTX, Express LRS and OpenTX stickers that you can use. And here we have the Radio Master Boxer Quick Start Guide. Now this has all the basic information. And here we can see all the switch layout and some battery information. Along with the specifications of the radio transmitter. So now let's remove the radio from the case. So in the case itself we have a compartment in which you can store some accessories. Now from the factory we get this tiny bag which has an allen key and some extra springs. So maybe if the springs wear out you can replace them. Here we have a USB-C cable that we can use to transfer data or charge the internal battery and lastly we get this screen protector and this is the quality check certificate so the radio has been tested before it's shipped and it has cleared the test so we have to remove this velcro strap which holds the radio in place and then we have this gimbal and switch protector now this is made in TPU and even this feels quite good good to see that it's included in the box unlike an accessory that you might have to purchase and here we have the radio itself now this features the v4 hall gimbals from radio master my first impressions are the gimbals actually feel a bit heavy and they have a sort of heft to them now i'm used to the fly sky gimbals because i have been using the fly sky i6x and these are the exact same gimbals we get on the TX16S Mark II. Then here we have the switch A, which is a two position switch. And we have switch P and switch C, which are three position switch. Now we have two sliders on this radio, S1 and S2. And even the sliders have a good heft to them. Like they are smooth, but there is a good amount of friction you can see. Like you won't be able to turn the sliders very fast. And they have a very strong center point. So I like that. So whenever you're flying and let's say if you're using the sliders for any aux channel and you want to get back to the center, then that will definitely help you. And then we have the switch C and the switch D. Now we do get trim buttons for the first four channels and you can also reprogram them for various features. Here we have the system key and and the return page and telemetry buttons and here we have some push buttons just like we get on the TX16S and you can program these as well here we have the jog wheel for the radio that you can use to scroll between the menu and select various options and this is the model key here on the top left corner we have a switch E which is basically a latching switch and it's very similar to switch A or switch D. It's just that it's flush with the radio and it has a nice feedback to it. And here on the right side we have switch F which is a momentary switch. Here we have a headphone jack, a USB port for the data transfer and a DSC port for simulator. And the USB port on the bottom is for charging the internal battery. Now this external antenna for the internal module that you see here is actually quite good. It's quite compact in size 
and you can easily remove this or replace it with a higher gain antenna this has a rp sma connector so keep that in mind if you want to upgrade this and here we have the radio master badging as well on the antenna on the back we get this fabric handle and if you want you can adjust this here we have the external module bay at the back now if you purchase the internal express LRS version of this radio then that module is rated for 1 watt of power and that particular variant has an internal fan inside it so you get an internal cooling fan for it so you have some vents over here and here we have the battery bay now the battery bay of this radio is quite big so you can fit in a large 2S battery as well from the factory we get this battery housing for two lithium ion cells so basically a 2S lithium ion pack now here we have some warning so you basically have to use 3.7 volt lithium ion cells or a 2S lipo pack and if you decide to use the USB charging port then do not use LIFE or 3.6 volt lithium ion cells because the circuitry is not designed to uh, charge those cells correctly in my opinion it's better to charge the battery externally and simply avoid the USB charger although it's rated for fast charging I would absolutely avoid using this feature here we have the SD card good thing that radio master ships this with all the contents preloaded so to remove you have to simply push the metal clip and remove the SD card now this one is a basic 256 megabyte SD card if you want you can upgrade this to a better one now here I have some lithium ion cells with me that I could use but I'll be using this to as 1000 milliamp power lipo battery so I'll simply connect the balance connector and the battery cover has a piece of foam to cushion the battery and to keep the battery secure now since we get a screen protector for the radio I'll make sure to install it at this stage alright so let's power up the radio so we need to hold the power button and Welcome once the radio HDS. vibrates it's powered on so we have a switch warning and this radio has the voice feature as well so that's quite nice so the HDX UI on this is very similar to the OpenTX firmware now I'll cover the menu and settings in a different video I'll end this video here let me know what you think of this radio transmitter and if you have any suggestions or questions please comment them as well. Until then, thanks a lot for watching and stay tuned for the upcoming videos.